Good afternoon, welcome back to another video. Not been out for a few weeks, last video uh, was Star Marwen. Um, I did a bit of a woodland camp a few weeks back, um, but I didn't really bother filming that, that was just a, a bit of a last minute jaunt in the woods. So, uh, so yeah, we're back out. Something a bit different today. Um, as you've probably just seen there, I've just pitched a, pitched a hot tent. Uh, never hot tented before, so today, today it's going to be the first night. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful afternoon, and I'm down at uh, Candy Corner Bushcraft in Doncaster. Uh, I don't know if everybody knows it, it is a, a bushcraft wild camping uh, experience, if you like, but you are allowed to have fires. Uh, the guy down here, and cracking guy, I'll stick a, I'll stick a link down below in the description um, to where it is, but Ant is a, is a cracking guy, and uh, he lets you come down here, have a fire, uh, hot tent if you wish and it just makes the old experience a little bit easier rather than uh, lighting fires at national parks and stuff like that so uh, I have got permission to be here tonight and I've got permission for fire so uh, so all good the parking is close by uh, if anyone is planning on coming down here and uh, parking is very very close to where you camp um, as far as I'm aware it's quite a popular place there's quite a few people coming down here on the weekend and one thing or another and it's ideal for bringing families because it is secure and uh, you've, you know, you like to say, you can you can have your fires, and nobody's going to move you on, and uh, not living in fear of setting uh, setting light to anything. So, uh, so yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, we're we'll having uh, spit roasted beef on uh, on fire later. So I've got plenty of wood, but there is plenty of wood kicking about around here. But we have brought some of his own wood. Um, so I'll be having a, a joint of beef uh, cooked on spit, and probably some hot beef uh, hot beef baguettes. So that's uh, that's what we're at, Candy Crown of Bushcraft in Doncaster. Um, so yeah, check it out. So as this is, it is a cracking afternoon, um, as you can see, sun's up there, and uh, that's me set up there. 
gear that I'm using tonight is the One Tigris iron wall with the inner and I've got the Will and All Nomad hot tent stove um, it's not a folding stove it is a, 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 a small unit to carry but chances are where I'm going to hot tent um, it's not going to be a, a place where I need to have a packable stove um, I'm not really interested in going into the Peak District and, and not tenting in the Peak District and carrying carrying stoves up miles and miles and miles so <clears throat> like I say it is a, I think it's a 6.4 kilo stove but it is compact all the stove pipes and everything else goes inside the stove and it's got carry handles on it which makes it easier to carry so uh, so yeah that's the Will and All Nomad and the One Tigress uh, One Tigress Iron Wall I went with the iron wall purely because it's got the inner um, the other option was to use the one tigress smoky hut um, I do believe you can get an inner, inner for it but that's an extra cost but the, the iron wall comes with the inner so that's why I opted, uh, I opted for that uh, should the tent go out at night I'm hoping to, I've got enough logs and I'm hoping to keep the, the stove going all night should the tent go out in the night I have come with a full, full, full four season mat and bag so uh, whatever happens I should be alright it is forecast to drop to minus six tonight, so uh, so we'll see what happens with that. Right, I'm gonna get cracked on, get some uh, bits and pieces sorted for a fire, and then uh, we'll chill out and uh, get ready for the night. So, for the fire tonight, I have opted to bring uh, bring my own logs purely because I want clean, dry uh, logs that aren't going to spit. Um, start putting wood on here; it's going to start spitting. It's going to start making the right mess. Sparks flying up the slew pipe. Out of spark arrestor. Chances are it's going to be a, some kind of a disaster on my tent. So for three and a half quid, um, I brought a bag of a bag of my own my own dry logs. Um, it's supposed to be eco-friendly and all the rest of it um, and that's that's the reason why I've, I've brought me home for the fire outside we will be using um, deadfall um, bits of trees that have fallen down that are dry and we use them for fire but purely for tonight first time I've attended I've opted for a three pound bag of logs and uh, hopefully I'll get a lot cleaner burn so we'll get them sorted for tonight <coughs>
<clears throat> Welcome back to another another very cold candy corn of bushcraft. Minus three. Tenth of frozen up inside. Um, I judge I think what it's like outside. But it's, uh, temperature plummeted at night massively. So uh, been a cold one. Managed to keep uh, I managed to keep the stove going until about 3 o'clock this morning and the stove went out and I couldn't be asked relighting it at that time so uh, I got wrapped up in a bag. I brought a full winter bag, um, then a sleeping mat and four season bag just in case it happened. <coughs> so, so yeah, 3 o'clock the uh, stove went out so I just got, uh, got wrapped up. It's uh, half past six now so I've just, I've just relit the stove. Um, it's not too bad because once the stove goes out, it, it does cool down pretty quick, especially in the temperature outside. So, so yeah, so I've just relit the stove. I'm uh, going to get it nice and warm in here and uh, think about getting a brew on. And that'll get some breakfast. I'm in no great rush this morning. I'm going to have a steady, uh, steady pack down and just chill out. No, uh, no to rush around for this morning. So like I suggested, like I said yesterday, if anybody is wanting to come down here, I highly recommend the place. Um, I'll leave some links uh, in the description below for uh, for where I am. And if anybody wants to come down here, then uh, do uh, do give me give me a shout. Thank you. 